some deeds that we do bad and we think ah, it's when you accuse someone of immorality Allah says in the Quran speaking about the accusation of immorality against Aisha radiallahu anha Allah says these people think it's a light matter yet in the eyes of Allah it is azim it is a huge thing how could you how dare you said that this is why you want to prepare for the meeting with Allah watch your tongue watch your tongue and watch your private parts Nabi came out and he gave a guarantee of paradise to people who looked after two things. That which is between your cheeks, which means your tongue. That which is between your thighs, which means your private parts. You look after those two, he says, I guarantee you paradise. No ways that you're not going to get it. How can we lose hope from the Guarantee of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. One might say, well, I haven't been using my tongue well. Someone else might say, I fell in immorality. I tell you what, you're alive. Seek the forgiveness of Allah. The Quran says, in a beautiful verse, فَاحِشَةً <laughs> Whoever has wronged themselves, committed immorality. Those who've committed immorality or wronged themselves, they've committed a sin against themselves. If they remember and they turn back to Allah seeking forgiveness and they do good deeds thereafter, you know what Allah says? Those are the ones for whom is the forgiveness of Allah and paradise. 